Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Gaddy's Garden. I apologize for my tardiness. We were having a family meeting, as we do every Sunday. We got some Garbon family. Anyway, today we are going to talk about repotting your plants. So this is a plant that I purchased at Lowe's. This is what they call a snake plant or a mother-in-law tongue. This is grows just like an aloe, which means it doesn't need a lot of attention. They give off quite a bit of oxygen. So they're great, excellent house plants. And all they need is just maybe a fourth a cup of water and a little bit of sunlight and they're good to go. So a few things when you are repotting a plant is you want to do just a little bit of research as to how the roots grow for a plant such as such as this and then also where do you want to put it um, once again you don't need you know like a real fancy soil this is a it's a house plant so regular potting soil is good be mindful of some potting soil sometimes they have gnats already like gnat eggs in the soil so when you water it and then all of a sudden you have gnats all in your house um, but today we're just going to focus on repotting a plant so this one was a smidget pricey just because it came with this uh, container right here and this is the original pot that it was grown in as you can see there's holes in the bottom for water drainage and in this fancy pot there are holes however the the bottom is clipped on it so i can dismantle the bottom tray and it will allow for water dam or water drainage which that's what you want for all of your your plants he's can you see it, Dad? Is it coming through? So, I've taken the, the bottom off of this pot. And here's the little, the little tray. So, if I move it to where it doesn't align with the clips inside the bottom, the water... Okay. How is that? Is it coming through now? I connected to the internet. So, once again, this pot... This is what it came in and the bottom this bottom does come off and if you don't clamp it to the the actual bucket the water will drain out okay that's what you want is the water to to drain out another quick little trick is using pine cones to as a way to help get air in the soil and to help with drainage. So all we're going to do is take the pine cones and I'm gonna use this flower pot right here. This is just a, a clay pot. You can get these at Lowe's, Walmart. I painted it before I decided to put a plant in it. So this is just a, a clay pot. When you're trying to decide how, how big, just if you can fit the plant in the pot and it has room to grow, then that's a pretty good size. If it's the same size as the plant, then that's probably not a good fit because it's not going to have room to grow. You remember you want the roots to be able to, to move and to grow, to grow down. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my pine cones. And once again, this is to help the drainage. So I'm just gonna dump those in towards the towards the bottom. And these are gonna eventually break down so you don't have to worry about where, where they're gonna go and whatnot. Then have my soil and all I'm going to do is 
put in the soil to about, uh, I guess about halfway. We're going to start there. doing is put in soil in in my pot I'm gonna fill it up about halfway and then I'm going to give it a little test run the goal is to have the dirt to come all the way up to the top of your pot and then also to make sure the top of the plant so right here this would be like the top of the plant is the same in this pot. Now look at this. You can see the roots are starting to wrap around themselves. This root right here is going to be another another plant, okay? So this is what you want to when you're repotting, this is essentially what is happening in in your plant. And it's going to keep wrapping around and wrapping around cuz it doesn't have anywhere else to go. And this is a plant that reproduces asexually, which means it's going to reproduce more plants that are just like itself, okay? And what I'm going to do is very gently separate this plant. You don't have to, to do this. If you're scared about, you know, breaking it or, you know, killing it, then, you know, by all means, you would just stick it in your, in your pot, okay? I'm gonna do one pine cone because I think it's too much going on in the pot. I'm not gonna have room for my plant. So put that back in there. There we go. And all you're going to do, if you once again, if you are nervous about you know tearing your plant plant or tearing the roots, so I um, you want to measure it out. So I have my dirt is about right here, right here. And now I've placed my plant in, and it would actually be okay just like this, but I like my plants to sit up just a little bit higher. That way the roots have more room to, to run. So I'm going to add a little more dirt to it. Okay. And then I'm going to try it out again. So it's sitting up where I would like it and after that all I do is just put in more dirt and press it down and then water but I bought this so that I could have more than one plant okay and you see all the roots there so all you're gonna do is dig kind of a little bit of hole give it room to cuddle in with and get it where you want it okay and then add more dirt all around it just like that put it in okay just like that Y'all have any questions, any wonderings, any best practices, let me know. Okay. And just like that, you've repotted your plant. So as you can see, it's just like that. And all I'm going to do next is water it. Now something else that I'm doing is I'm going to add in some Epsom salt to help stimulate the roots. And I'm only doing this because... I've never grown these before and I just ripped it from its mother so I need the roots to go ahead and grow back fairly quickly so that it survives so I'm just gonna sprinkle on probably about uh, about a teaspoon and then I will water this in but Epsom salt is great for 
sore muscles and for your plants. So if you have, especially fruit bearing plants, this is great for, for them. All right. And then the last task is just to water it and I'll put it in a tray to catch the water for this specific. There you go. So that is how you repot a plant and good to go. How do you know when you need to uh, repot a plant? One, sometimes it'll start dying no matter how much water you put on it. Um, let it go for at least a week before you add more water just in case it is drowning from being overwatered. And when you know that the soil is completely dry, you know, take it out, check it out. If the roots are wrapping around, then it needs more room to, to grow. Now, if you, you know, don't want it to get any bigger, then leave it in the container that it is in. A plant such as this, as you saw, like the roots wrapping around and then they just start growing back up, okay? So this is the, the mother plant here. Like I said, you can see where it's starting to regrow more right here. So these are gonna be more plants just like this. This is a, a pretty good, uh, actually a very good purchase. If you take care of it, I paid 11 bucks ish for it. And it actually came with two plants, but it's going to start reproducing to where I can take this and have multiple house plants. Okay. Alrighty. Well, thank you all for another evening of Gaddy's Garden and repotting your house plants. I will talk to you all later. Thank you.